witch, your new body is ready. Come forward. Ah, yes, yes. How <laughs> oh, wonderful, yes, this will do. All right, magic time. Now, first I think some introductions are in order, shall we? On this end. Hello, I am Philander and it's a pleasure to watch us. Good evening, my name is Piper, and you can clap for me all you like. <laughs> Hello, my name is Cecily Sinclair, and as the bard once said, my heart is ever at your favour. Oh yes, and I'm Oliver. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> is your line Are you asking if the werewolf is acting up? Your eyes are just... He's... He's just everybody to see I am Chauncey Haverforth at your service. Thank you. Thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this story is called The Vintex. It is an old story from Aurora. And, well, I think you may find some uh, connections, some... Uh, uh, similarities between the story that we tell tonight and some people here in town. So without further ado, for your entertainment, The Vinterhex. Once upon a time, in the world of Aurora, there once was a small town. And in that small town was a puppet maker, the greatest in all of Aurora. The most articulate, the most careful, most artistic of any in Aurora. Puppets as beautiful as any you've ever seen. And as he was the light of all of Aurora, the light of his world was his sister. Hello, brother. Hello, sister. I just made a new puppet. Do you like her? Oh, she's beautiful. Well, she's all yours now. Really? Yes, of course. Please, enjoy her. Can I play with her? Yes, of course. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and she played with those puppets, and they were happy. <laughs> until tragedy struck, and she oh. fell ill. Oh. Sister, what's wrong? I'm afraid I'm not feeling very well. Oh. I will find a doctor. <laughs> Never fear. Please, is there a doctor in the house? Anyone, please. Please, a doctor, a doctor, we need a doctor. Oh, yes, goodness, what would be the problem? Yes, oh, no. sister. My sister is ill, please help her. I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> Terrible doctor. There must be another doctor. Please. <laughs> yes, please come in, my sister is very ill. Oh, no, no, yeah, she's dying. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, there must be someone who can help her. I know of an old witch who lives just outside of town. She must have some sort of magical means. There must be some way. She was a powerful crone, deep and terrible magics. <gasps> old hag, please. I beg your help. My sister is in dying need of aid. You're not puppet maker, aren't you? Oh, you've heard of me. I have. Well, if you're such a good puppet maker, I can help you. You must make a new body for your sister and bring it back here. And I shall use my magic and make sure she lives on. You mean to say that she will live inside a wooden body? Yes. That is most peculiar, but... What you say is true. You are our last hope. Yes, I'm very good at what I do. Now go. Very good. And so the puppet maker went and worked through the night, crafting the most beautiful body he could, that his sister might inhabit a beautiful, wonderful puppet, that she might be happy in this new body. And in the morning, he brought it to the witch. <gasps> oh, this is lovely. It's I've ever seen. Now, you can't watch me do my magic. I don't let anyone watch. Now get out. I 
cannot leave my sister. She's safe with me, now go. Very well. I was just trying 
to help my sister. Well, now you can help me. You're still the best puppet maker in the land. Yes. Now, I want you to build the most beautiful wooden body you've ever built, and it will be for me, because I am old and ugly, and I desire beauty above everything. Very well, then. It shall be done. And, and so they did. They, they worked and worked on a beautiful statue, a monument of grace, every line carefully created, hair of gold and eyes of sapphires. Come on! Together. Lips of lilies and, 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 and the skin of roses and... And, and rather raspy voice and rude comments. But it looks beautiful. However, we made it hollow and weak, such that the slightest wind would crack her in half. Which, your new body is ready. Come forward. Ah, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. Yes, this will do. All right, magic time. Draws me down, me Ah, this is much better. I like this body. Wait, what have you done? It's all hollow inside. My, my joints are breaking apart. I'm falling to pieces. <gasps> Quick, sister. While she's weak, we must throw her into the fire. Yes. No, don't throw me into the fire. Once again, we are Evermore's Acting Truth. Good night.